Uh oh, y'all, not Beyonce being exposed for allegedly trying to take Blue Cantrell out. This year has been absolutely crazy, but hearing allegations of Beyonce alleging plotting to unalive somebody was not on my bingo card for this year. But according to singer Blue Cantrell, that's exactly what happened. Now, Blue recently came out to allege that she had an affair with Jay Z, like we've all been expecting all these years, and that Beyonce found out. She then went ahead to claim that Beyonce tried to get revenge on her. And not only did Beyonce get her fired from her record label, but Beyonce allegedly tried to unalive her with poisonous gas. Now y'all remember when Blue had her supposed mental breakdown and claimed that somebody was trying to take her out? Well, she is telling the full story, alleging that it all has to do with Beyonce. Y'all, there's a whole lot to going on here, so let's unpack this messy drama. It sounds like Beyonce might have took a page out of Blue Cantrell's book, cause while Jay was scheming, she was beaming and a beamer just beaming. She couldn't believe that she got a man cheating. Y'all, at this point, I don't think Beyonce is ever gonna beat these allegations of her allegedly holding these women back and killing their careers, because there have been so many accusations from people in the industry who have come out to say one or two things about Miss Beyonce and how she held their careers back. Now, we're definitely not going to say that these allegations are all true because there are bound to be people who accuse her because they're jealous of her or something like that. But in some special cases, you really have to sit down, assess the information because, well, it is kind of sus. And Blue Cantrell's case is one of those because not only was she claiming that Beyonce ruined her career, but she is also claiming that Beyonce allegedly tried to unalive her because because she, Blue, had an affair with Beyonce's me and Jay-Z. And one thing we know about Miss Beyonce is that she does not play about her man. For example, a blind item a couple of months ago claimed that Beyonce was the reason that Tierra Marie's career went downhill. Allegedly, Beyonce found out that Tierra had had a little something something going on with Jay-Z, even though Tierra was way younger than Jay-Z at the time. According to this blind item, not only did Beyonce allegedly make sure that Jay-Z ended the affair, but she allegedly made sure to end Tierra's career just to teach her a lesson to stay away from her man. By the time all of the ink was dry, she was just shy of being legal, but that didn't stop the mogul. He liked to sample the new talent. He was sampling her on a fairly regular basis, but he was also involved with the current a list singer who was in his face every day. And this could allegedly be Beyonce. The thing is though, that corn star in charge of her career was feuding with the mogul and told the mogul he would not be allowed to hook up with the singer again. I assume he thought the mogul would think she was something special. Apparently not as special as the current a lister because the new signee was dropped and the word was put out on the street. No record deals for her from any label. When someone ignored the edict, they were paid a visit. If the visits were ignored, then other steps were taken. This was a total lockdown of a career that lasted almost a decade. Well, Blue Cantrell is now claiming that the same thing happened to her, claiming that Beyonce allegedly used her power and influence to ensure that Blue got blacklisted. For some context, I need y'all to know the story of what really went down between Blue and Jay-Z in the first place. Well, Blue Cantrell and Jay-Z used to be pretty cool back in the late 90s, and they were so close that people started to wonder if there was more to their relationship than just friendship. At the time, Blue was working as a backup vocalist for big names in the industry, like Diddy. And it wasn't long before her talent caught the eyes of some industry execs like L.A. Reid, who signed her to his label Arista Records. In 2001, she dropped her debut album, So Blue, and it was a smash hit. It got number 8 on the Billboard 200, had multiple top 10 songs on the Billboard Hot 100, and earned her not one but two nominations at the Grammys that year. And within two weeks, the album had been certified gold. Around that time, she and Jay-Z started to get closer and closer. And I'm not gonna lie, it was kinda weird on Jay-Z's part because he had just started making moves on Beyonce, trying to get her to date him. So what on earth was he doing getting so close to another woman? There were speculations that he was keeping Blue as a backup, just in case Beyonce said no to his advances. 
he would have another R&B powerhouse on his arms. He had recently gotten burned by Aaliyah at the time, so he wasn't trying to put his eggs all in one basket. But anyways, Blue went on to drop her second album in 2003, and around that same time, Beyonce also dropped her debut solo album, Dangerously In Love. Now y'all know when two artists drop songs close to each other, it can almost always lead to a rivalry or something like that. And that's allegedly what happened between Beyonce and Blue. So not only were they competing for the same man, but the rivalry had spilled over into their music and well, things just started to go downhill from there. Blue Cantrell always insisted that there was nothing romantic going on between her and Jay-Z and they were just friends and all that stuff. But people really didn't buy it and they believed that she was just trying to save face. But the rumors got stronger when Blue had an interview with Wendy Williams. And y'all know how Wendy was back then. She did not hold back any punches when she was interviewing a guest. She straight up asked Blue Cantrell if she had kissed Jay-Z or done anything romantic with him. Now this would have been the perfect chance for Blue to deny the rumors and put them to rest. But instead, she fueled them even more when she laughed and dodged the question. You kissed Jay-Z romantically? Uh, no. <laughs> no, I can't answer that. I can't answer that. <laughs> oh, she's touching him off the neck! Look! You see? Why do people not want to let the Jay-Z Blue Cat trial thing go? Because, honey, that was a fabulous little high point in your well, career. Well, what about oh, Beyonce and Jay-Z? That's, that's fabulous. See, now there's a lot of ways she could have handled that situation, but dodging it and laughing like that was the worst way possible because it just made the rumors even stronger. But if you thought that was bad, well, it gets worse because Wendy went on to say that the reason Jay-Z had gone with Beyonce was that Beyonce was younger. And the next thing we knew, Blue jumped in to say that Beyonce was more naive and more easily manipulated than she was. And that was what Jay-Z wanted in a woman. But I didn't think it would last though. What, me and him? Yeah. Why? Because you're above 25. Why, he needs somebody younger than that? At the end of the day, yeah. Why do you say that? Because I think at the end of the day, a younger, um, less savvy to the ways of the world broad. Somebody a little bit more naive. You said it, not me. <laughs> you could have- Do you know what I mean? You could have making me say things? Yeah, I just thought that you were too, so not only was her dodging the question messy, but it was super disrespectful to Beyonce to call her naive because at the time she had nothing to do with the drama at that point. But that wasn't all because in the next few years, Blue would accuse Beyonce of stealing the visuals of her song and passing it off as hers. For example, when Beyonce and Jay-Z dropped the music video for their song, Bonnie and Clyde, all I need in this life for sin is me and my girlfriend. Down a ride to the very end, it's me and my boyfriend. Yeah, that song, Blue immediately accused them of copying her music video for her song, Roundup. And when Beyonce dropped her song, Baby Boy, You Stay On My Mind, featuring Sean Paul, Blue again accused Beyonce of copying her because she had released the song, Breathe, with Sean Paul way before Beyonce did. Then there were also speculations that Beyonce was talking about Blue Cantrell in her song Signs where she said, I wish she was a Virgo, the same sign as me, yeah, and know how to show me love, cause I've been hurt by a Pisces. Jay-Z is a Sagittarius, Beyonce is a Virgo, and Blue Cantrell is a Pisces. So fans believe that Beyonce admits that Jay-Z cheated on her with Blue. I don't know, it's a little bit of a stretch for me. But if you thought that this mess couldn't get any weirder, just take a seat. Blue Cantrell then had an interview with The Guardian, and when they asked her about Beyonce, this is what she had to say. I'm an adult, she's younger, and if she's doing what you're saying, then she's being a little immature. Maybe she's trying to do it to get press, but I want to make her understand. If she goes there with me, it's the wrong move. She needs to understand what she's doing and what she's getting into. Blue Cantrell then also dragged Jay-Z into it, saying, if she is being negative, she doesn't need to be because she's a beautiful girl. But if you have issues with your man, address it with the guy. Don't take it out on the girl. 
it's never the way to go. Well, that uh, allegedly was the last straw that broke the camel's back, and Blue Cantrell's career went down the drain after that interview. She never released an album or even a single after that interview, which is strange considering how talented she is and how successful both of her albums were. They were both Grammy nominated and charted so well, so her disappearance was very strange and seemed calculated. In the late 2013, she announced that she was working on a third album after leaving her label, saying that she was a free agent. Well, the album never saw the light of day because it was 2014 and she was hospitalized after what was referred to as a mental breakdown. She was found on the streets of Santa Monica in California by 2 a.m., screaming about how someone had tried to unalive her with some sort of poisonous gas, and she was eventually taken to the hospital for evaluation. Now, even though people in the industry tried to play this off as another celebrity mental breakdown, with some people even suggesting that it might have been a drug-induced episode. Well, fans didn't believe it at all, pointing out how eerily similar it was to what happened to the actor Martin Lawrence. In May 1996, Martin was arrested after being picked up at a busy intersection in Sherman Oaks, California, holding a gun and screaming at passing motorists, saying they're trying to kill me. According to one witness, Martin also yelled, fight, don't give up, fight the power, as he was being taken to the hospital. What was weirder is the fact that the tabloids also kept referring to Martin as troubled and implied that he was on drugs, even after doctors who treated Martin at the hospital later denied these claims. And the medical center's spokesperson, Ron Wise, told the press that there was absolutely no medication of any type involved. So Blue's case was not the first that we've seen a celeb being treated like they're crazy. Well, the next thing we knew, Jaguar Wright stepped into the ring to share her two cents. And y'all know that Jaguar is never afraid to tell the truth as it is. Blue. The first Blue. Not they do it a blue eye. Blue Cantrell. You were singing fool. And you made a choice to work with someone and you probably didn't realize how nefarious he was when you got involved with him. I didn't. Blue, it's time to talk. It's time for you to sing again. Cause I know you still got the chops. You got the gift. Just like me. Jay-Z worked very hard to erase you and me, just like he did L, just like he did his relationship with R. Kelly, just like he did his relationship with Aaliyah. Blue, it's time to talk. Well, Jaguar's words sparked something in Blue Cantrell because she is now speaking out about what happened and how a certain powerful someone got her fired from her label as revenge. She said, I would have got my lawyer because that lawyer ended up representing them, which was a conflict of interest. So they were all working together to basically take what was mine. Nobody really knows the whole truth but me and them, but I was really taken advantage of. But that's just the tip of the iceberg because according to another insider, Blue Cantrell has been claiming that it was allegedly Beyonce who tried to unalive her back in 2014. The source claimed that Beyonce had allegedly gotten sick and tired of Blue speaking on her name as well as Blue Cantrell's affair with Jay-Z and so she allegedly tried to take Blue out. Y'all, this whole situation is a whole thing of insanity. And the streets have definitely been shook about these revelations. They left comments saying, Beyonce is so insanely insecure, it's odd that people can't see it. She had an issue with everybody who had a thing with Jay-Z. Instead of finding someone who will cherish her, she's putting out all this negativity towards everyone but the main source of her suffering, which is her husband. I have never ever been a Beyonce fan at all, but Blue Cantrell, I remember buying her CD in the early 2000s and somehow didn't hear much from her after a while. Now it makes sense. And this other person commented, Blue Cantrell looks like Beyonce feature wise and B and J's child is named Blue Ivy. What the F? Y'all, this situation is a weird hot mess, but I need to know what y'all think about this. Do you think that Blue Cantrell needs to go back and hit him up style? Or do you think that she's just trying to stir up some more drama? Drop your thoughts in comments below and then check out this next video.